Okay, hey Floss Tube, it's Sarah from I Swear I'm Stitching. Today is February 8th, and it is Floss Tube 8. <laughs> I already forgot everything, I just started. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you're new, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. It's good to see you. You look nice today. I have another snoring dog. It's an everyday thing. That's She's 12. She does a lot of that. <laughs> Anyways, so we will start with life because I like to get that out. Sorry. Let's see. We had a big ice storm and I've got some pretty pictures to show you guys. It was great because it meant for once in a bazillion years, the BMV closed. So I didn't have to work Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So, oh, it was glorious. Even better since we somehow managed to not lose power. I have no idea how we did not lose power because we had so much ice and then sleet and then snow. But, and we have a lot of big trees behind our house. And luckily, none of them broke on any of our stuff. We have a big giant batch of tree limbs hanging like right over our porch so i'm glad that didn't break let's see if i can find pictures i don't know why i'm humming i can't hum okay so let's see if that shows up look at that ice oh. that's the big giant massive tree like that was me shooting straight up on our deck <laughs> And then tree branches hanging over our back. Oh, so pretty. I mean, ice is bad. Very destructive. A lot of people in the area don't have power. Still. But, um, gosh, it's beautiful. That's it for life updates. My kids missed a whole bunch of school. My... Daughter goes to the high school and they've been closed the past two days. I'm not sure why, but they're still closed. My son goes to the JVS and they were closed Monday, but they only had a two hour delay today, which he's excited about because he loves JVS. He's in the um, automotive tech program. So, oh, is there one more coat? Hi, Amber. Okay. Um, so he was excited to go to school. Um, it actually worked out pretty well that my daughter didn't have school today because her and her friend drove up to Pittsburgh. It's about an hour and a half away to do um, some college tour at a college I forgot the name of. It's a little nerve-wracking letting your 16-year-old go to Pittsburgh without by herself, but, you know, it's a, you gotta let go eventually, right? So, and then my husband's at work, and he never uh, missed any work. They, they didn't lose power or anything. He's a coal miner. Um... That's it for life update. Nothing much else going on. Physical therapy is going well. My back is feeling a little better. Um, better enough to where I finally started um, exercising again. Um, taking it slow and back on the treadmill in the basement for about half an hour. I tried to run a couple times and mm, that was not a good idea. And then when it's been nicer, I've been walking to Amber. And then, uh, so yeah, it's things are slowly but surely getting better. <laughs> It is crazy how much your nose itches when your camera turns on. Oh my gosh. That's it. Sorry. That's, you don't want to see me scratching my nose. That is it for life updates. So we will... Aw, now you got the ass in. That's not fun to look at. Amber. Oh well. Just got skinny a little butt. Anyways, sorry. Gosh. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I just messed that all up. Who cares? On to the stitching. So, um, like I said, I didn't have to work, so I got like a lot done. I actually started reading a book again. I haven't read in forever. So, we'll start with finished objects. First off is I finished my Winter Cardinal Etching by Heart and Hand. It was for um, Whipco. It was uh, number five called for this month and I also used it for uh stitch the winter olympics hashtag stitch the winter olympics that's run by the nap time stitcher on instagram and you can print out like a list of the things for the uh the days 
I got some project ideas right next to them. And uh, it was day, <clears throat> excuse me, number four, which was something with an animal. So I finished it, and I think it's the cutest thing ever. As I get older, I like birds more, especially cardinals. The pattern has you do the face and the beak and the red as well, but um, I saw someone else online did the black and the orange, so I like that better. <laughs> Trying to get a screen grab. <laughs> but, yeah, the only thing I changed was, well, I didn't use any of the called for um, specialty threads. I used the called for DMC, and then for the red, I used um, a DMC variegated 115, and then just some random black and some random orange but yeah I asked my daughter if I should make it into an ornament for our tree or a little pillow for my dough bowl and she voted pillow so eventually I'll make that into a pillow oh yeah this is um 32 count linen and scroll by bestitch me oh, I love this fabric this is a beautiful neutral oh, it's upside down look at it's a beautiful neutral I love that that's just a little project. I have so much of that fabric left I can use for something else. I'm going to duck down and scratch my nose. Ta-da! <laughs> so that was one FO. I need another desk or something to put my crap. All right, I'll put it there. Anyway, and then I finished February flower for the... Um, The mini bouquet salad by Jeanette Douglas. There we go, got it out. I finished February and it is so pretty and not around. <laughs> I thought I had everything out. You guys, every single time, every single time. That's okay. So this is on 32 Count Lugana in Old West by Color and Cotton. This is another really good neutral. Another one that would easily be a favorite neutral of mine. I'll hold the whole thing up so you can see. That's a, oh, it's so pretty. I love that fabric. And then there's the February. Isn't that pretty? I'm just using the call for it. Well, uh, it's worked in, you know, fancy flosses, uh, over dyes and things. I'm just using most of the recommended DMCs. And then um, sometimes I don't like the color. So I just go through my DMC stash and pick out a new one. So that's February. And this is what's going to look like all done. I still have not started the outer border because I'm still debating on whether or not I want to do it in white. Like it's called for. Or if I want to do it like a, a green eventually. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. See the white border? I'm just not sure. You can't see it very well. And I really hate stitching with white. So I may just do like a green around there. We'll see. Saving that for kind of towards the end. And then, not stitching related, but an F.O., I finished out my daughter's quilt, the Starfall, Starfall quilt. I finished hers. I had a major sewing bug going when we were closed during the ice storm. Oh my gosh, everything on the itches today. So this is her quilt. It is Starfall, Starfall quilts by Emily Dennis of oh, Quilty Love. I believe, and I did it in Kona's, in yellows, and Moon and Stars by Andover in black. So as soon as I, tomorrow, I'll be mailing it to Missouri Star Quilt to be quilted. And because her birthday is in April and she has to have this before she turns 17, because these are supposed to be quilts for their 16th birthdays, <laughs> I'm going to pay the extra to have them bind it. Amber. Okay, so it goes from dark to 
light purple. It's got the black. I'm not going to stand up so you can see. And then, ugh. And on my tiptoes, I'm kind of short. I'm five, six. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Those are my favorite purples down there. So, yep, yeah, that's my daughter's quilt. Half-ass fold job. Put it on my sewing machine. <laughs> so yeah, that's another finish. And then I told you that I finished her best friend's quilt uh, what, a couple weeks ago now, and um, it's already been sent off to Missouri Star Quilt for quilting, and I should be getting it back. Ah, I have no no idea, but that's what her best friend's looks like. It's yellows and grays. I really wish I'd picked a darker yellow for this row here. Because those two light ones look so similar, especially in the photo. In person, you can definitely tell a difference. One is um, cooler, but like in the picture, you can't really tell. But yeah. And then the backing for her is my daughter picked um, like a gray. And then the backing for my daughter, she picked a... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I think I wrote it down. I did not write it down. No, I did. So for Callie's yellow and gray one, it's Stonehenge Quartz Gray. And for Anna's, it's Circle Play Blue Tonal. It's like cir black circles with purple and blue in it. So she's looking forward to that. And I'm glad to have them done. And then I realized that this means my husband has two quilts. My daughter now will have two quilts. Best friend will have one quilt. My dog's going to have a quilt. And my son still only has one quilt. His was one of the first quilts I made. And he helped make it. So I owe him a quilt. I have to have him look through my uh, magazines and patterns. And he can pick one out. But I was so super excited to have that done. And those are my FOs. Yay! And now on to whips. Alright, so. I am currently working on Christmas Bows by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. Um, this also counts towards uh, my whip go uh, was number ooh, number 19 for whip go. I can't remember now. I think that's right. 17 or 19. I can't remember now. I think I wrote that down. Anyways, also um, working it for the Stitch the Winter Olympics. It was day five, and day five was Stitch something. No, that's not at all right. Yeah, it was Stitch day five, and <laughs> Stitch a pattern that contains something round. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I think I deleted the picture. I don't know why I would do that. Nope, oh, there it is. Okay. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is what I have so far. I had, uh, I had this when I started it. Today, but I had to rip it out because I realized I had the wrong brown there. And then I had to rip out a bunch of branches here because I miscounted. But there you go. That is on 36 Count Linen in Tombstone by Bestitch Me. You'll see a theme here. I really like Bestitch Me. I love the little baubles. Little punch, it's, I like the little punch of red amongst all the green and brown. So that's what I'm currently working on. That's what I'll stitch today, later on. And then I started That Which Does Not Kill Us. That is by Urban Stitcher. And it's a black work sal. I finally started it. That's a picture of the outline. 
the first clue was released, which was Hemlock, I am nowhere near doing the first release. So I'm going to be, this is a salve that I'll definitely be behind on. And it's been a long time since I've done black work and I did it on um, a higher count, like 14 count and Ada. So it's, I found it kind of hard to find my groove with this. I mean, I got there eventually. But. Did I say it's 32 Count Lugana in Harvest Moon by Color and Cotton? This is a good neutral. It's a little yellowy. So not one I'm like, like a future go-to, but it's, it's a good one. And that's all I've got so far. I messed up a lot because I was watching X-Files while I was doing it and I got caught up in it. Oh. So this is going to be something I just pick up, you know, every now and then when I want something different. Because like I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with the, the Sal. Because they're already on the first clue and I'm not even a quarter of the way done with that uh, border. But it's fun. I enjoy it. I, I always enjoy it. I don't. I know some people hate backstitch, but I like backstitch, so it doesn't bother me. Let's see. And then I worked on for Stitch to Winter Olympics Day 2, which was Stitch Something Related to Winter. I worked on... Oh, man. What did I work on? Oh, I worked on um, Winter Cross Stitch 10. That's by The Floss Box. And it is on 32 Count Belfast Linen in Tarnish by Picture This Plus. And I really did not get very much of this done, like, at all. I was just was not feeling it. It's super cute, but, oh, like I said, I really hate stitching white. There's a lot of white. But it's super cute, and I love polar bears, and I love snowmen. I probably will not stitch the snowman pail he's holding because it just looks like he's holding a severed snowman's head. And while usually I wouldn't appreciate that little bit of morbid touch, not for this one. So I'll just leave that part out. Like I said, I did not, I basically finished the heart and that was it. And then I called it a day on that. I hate white, you guys. It's such a small piece. Oh, it's gonna take me forever because I hate white. Why do I have to like snowmen and polar bears so much? Mm -mm -mm. Snowmen and polar bears. Anyways, okay. And then I stitched on the um, eighth frame for cereal by fourth circle studios and this is by this is 18 count blood splatter by stitch life and just two more frames to go which I'll, honestly i i love this but once it's gone it'd be nice to have one of the sal's done and over with but um and i still i'm undecided on whether or not i'm going to add the uh extra frame gacy again hate clowns and the um, one frame I opted to do, not do, the um, Aqua Tufano, Aqua Tufano, the uh, lady who poisoned people. And then there's supposed to be one more alternative uh, frame, so we'll see. Anyways. There it is. Okay, so number eight was Ed Gein. He's the guy who inspired uh, such uh, characters as Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. He made uh, like skin suits and skin lamps and I believe he's only ever tried for one murder though. But um, that's a bottle of antifreeze and in the pattern it was brown and I did not like it. When I think antifreeze I think blue. So, plus um, I had so much brown here and I wanted to have some more blue because this frame was supposed to have the bottle of like poison and it was blue. So I decided to make the antifreeze bottle blue. Bring some more color into it. I love it so much. And like I said, I may add the other frames down here. We'll see what the third one is. And if I can make it fit, that makes sense. 
We'll see. We'll see. I'm enjoying it though. I love it. I love it so much. And she sends a little um like blurb of information about um the meaning, like the antifreeze was what helped catch Ed Gein because he uh bought it the woman he killed he bought it at her store and he that was like the last purchase made at the store something like that i can't remember but it's uh it's fun it's interesting it's morbid <laughs> all the things i like all the things i like and then that was it for my stitching whips i didn't do any knitting this week but like I said, during the um, ice storm, I was in full on sewing mode. I kind of had the feeling like I gotta sew, sew, sew till we lose power. Cause once we lose power, I can stitch by the window when we have light. And then I have emergency um, light bulbs and that might be enough to stitch, knit by at night. So I just kept sewing and sewing and we kept not losing power. So I just, I just I got a lot of sewing done. So, um, I got, um, almost finished. It's the dog pile quilt along. And, uh, I started late and then I caught up and then I jumped ahead. <laughs> so that's it. So like this week we're supposed to work on a third block and I'm done with all my blocks. I have them put together. I have the inner border on. So back up again. And this is for my doggy, Amber. And this is by Pen and Paper Patterns. It's just using Kona and random fabrics from my stash. <gasps> Look how cute. That's my favorite doggy. Because if I had done white instead of brown, it would look just like Amber. And for the collars, the purple and the yellows, I just used leftover from my girl's quilts. Amber's going to have a pretty big, pretty big quilt. And then I just used, um, oh, I don't know, fabric line I got from Joann's for just like a gray polka dot for the border. And then I will say I used some shitty fabric. I had my stash from Walmart and you can tell it's shitty fabric because this is the Kona. You see how well how nice it looks. And then the dark gray, it's all wrinkly, puckered. Like as soon as I iron it, like put the iron on it to flatten out the seams, puckered. But oh well, it's a dog's quilt. Amber's not gonna be picky. <laughs> It'll be filthy and gross in no time. <laughs> and that one I'm just gonna quilt on my machine. And then, so all I have left to do um, is the outer border. And I've already cut the fabrics for them and have them in order. I'm just using more of the purple and yellow from Callie and Anna's quilts. So the border, a little dark, dark, light, light. And I have them all already organized. Those are extras because I always cut extras. So yeah, not sure when I get that done. Probably not this week because I'm going to work on my stitching today and relax. Like I haven't relaxed all week. And um, I'll probably... And they'll, yeah, well, yeah, this weekend I'll probably sew that. We'll see, though. You never know what, what's going to happen. I don't, I hate to say for sure what I'm going to do. And then, so that was all my whips. I don't have any haul plans. I'm going to work on the, as you can tell, I have not, speaking of Sal's, I've not worked on the dinosaur, ABC dinosaur style by Clouds Factory. They're the February clue is those top two dinosaurs. I haven't even started those yet. Excuse my nails, I'm a nail biter. Um, I haven't even started those yet. When, once I'm done with Christmas bows, 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 ugh, bows, I'll start this. Cause that's my whip go goals to finish that. And um, though I will, actually no, I lied. Because I have that to work on in for some of the um, Stitch the Winter Olympics uh, prompts. 
And then I'm going to work on my nephew's hunter vest. Like I said, I haven't done any stitching all day. It pissed me off. Or knitting all week because it pissed me off. And I had to frog a bunch of it. That's what it'll look like when it's done. His is in gray. It's by Jared Flood. And then after working on the dino sal, I'll try to fit in that witch. Doesn't kill us. So I can try to catch up. We'll see how that goes. Um, I have no haul. But I do have something cute to show you. Okay, so I was watching Rogue Mama Stitcher and her son, Toasty, has been on and he's adorable. And he reminds me of my son when my son was younger. He, uh, well, he's still into Legos. He's gonna be 18 in March and he's still into Legos. But it, you know, oh, they're cuddling, sorry. Um, but when my son was nine, uh, and my daughter was 10, I tried to get them into, well, my daughter wanted to try stitching and she tried to get her friends into stitching and uh, it didn't work so well. And so then Eli wanted to give it a try and um, he did. And, uh, oh, I'm getting on this because Toasty was, he was stitching and it reminded me of my son and uh, how my son tried to stitch. And I said, he stitched one thing, it was his name. And <laughs> luckily he completed it because his name's short, Eli. And she asked if um, we still had it, and um, we do. It still hangs proudly in his room. I went upstairs and stole it off his wall. <laughs> and red is one of his favorite colors. <laughs> Isn't that cute? He was nine, and I have pictures of him stitching it. Look at him. Oh, look at my little boy. Oh, this is gonna be 18 in March. <laughs> yeah I don't think my daughter ever finished anything she started a fox and I'm pretty sure she didn't finish it or she may have finished it and gave it to her cousin for a gift oh I can't remember now she tried a lot of crafts uh, she knit a tiny blanket for her bunny when she was like 8 or 7 and then stopped knitting and then her and her best friend, some friends joined a knitting club in high school and um, she started knitting, didn't get very far. Her best friend's a knitter. She, I give her yarn and needles and patterns and she basically likes to knit scars. She's done tons of knitting, she's great. And not my kid. Um, and sewing, they tried their hand at sewing. They both did not really like it, but they tried. Maybe one day they'll be crafters. My daughter's an artist but not really a crafter. Well, I lied. She likes to work in resin. She's just really impatient. So a lot of her resin's kind of sticky. Uh, what else? I think that's it. My son's not really crafty. I mean, he crafts on cars because he's a car guy. But that's his one cross stitch. I've cross stitched the most for him in the family, honestly. Cross stitched a couple things for my husband. Oh, other than, my, other than myself. Um, I did a... My daughter loves science, and so I crossed a stitch, and I love science, science thing for her. But my son's on the spectrum, and when he was younger, he would get, you know, really interested in certain things and hyper-focused on those things, uh, obsessed with them, that kind of thing. Uh, he was obsessed with tornado sirens for a while, which was fun because I never knew if we were actually having a tornado if he was just listening to sirens on the on his YouTube. So, um, his favorite siren was the Thunderbolt 3000. And so he asked me to cross stitch that and I did in yellow. So that's hanging in his room still. Um, then he got really into retro games and he has circled back and is back into retro games. And so, um, and Sonic in particular. So I, I cross stitched him Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, he was really into motorhomes, RVs. <laughs> So I cross stitched him a pretty decent sized RV that's still hanging in his room. What else? He got really into the Lorax. So I embroidered him some of the trees. I forgot what they're called. That's still hanging in his room. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I've stitched him. RV, Thunderbolt, Sonic, Lorax. Like I'm missing one. I could be wrong. Yeah. So, like I said, he gets, he's on the spectrum, so he gets really into things. 
But uh, actually, that has, um, as he's grown older, that has uh, faded. Like, um, not faded. It's, oh, I don't want to say severe, the obsessions. He's into things. He's just not, like, hyper-focused on those things. Oh, the Thunderbolt, the, the Tornado Sirens was fun, but frustrating. Because, oh, my God, he listened to a lot of sirens. And, oh, my God, they're loud. But it was fun to drive down, like, a highway or drive in a city with him. Because... He'd be in the back and he'd just yell out the name of a of, of a siren. And I'd be like, I don't even see a siren anywhere. And so he'd, I'd have to pull over so he could get out and take a picture of it. But he was just like, he wouldn't be looking for him. He would just like catch him, he'd see him. It was, that was fun. Oh, he was really into fire alarms. So we would go into like hotels or restaurants or stores and he would tell me what the fire alarm was, the make and all, like just all the information about the fire alarm. Um... So much so that he has a few fire alarms and they're like set up downstairs in the basement. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's, uh, I've learned a lot of things I never knew um, I needed to know. <laughs> it's just okay, because I'm pretty sure I babble on to him about things like Star Trek, you know. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Sorry I rambled there. Like I said, no haul. I should have some stuff coming in. Um, I splurged on myself um, and bought uh, some fabric and I have that Edgar Allan Poe box coming. <sighs> I'm just going to bitch real quick. A year ago, roughly, <clears throat> I pre-ordered the Outer Space, Outer Space Stitchy Box. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think it was supposed to ship like originally like September and then got moved to December and then January and still no stitchy box. And remember that part that the piece I was missing from the Halloween countdown that never came. So yeah, I will never, ever, ever order from stitchy box again, unless I need something specific that I can only find there. Like some of the limited edition threads that she has in the boxes. I'm not sure if they're available anywhere else. Like, there was a poison apple from years ago in a box that I needed more of. I ordered from her um, a couple years ago, a year ago. I don't know. Oh, I got my hair cut. It looks like crap. But, um, yeah. So, I know it's a pandemic. Uh, there's supply issues. But if that's the case, then you need to stop offering boxes. <laughs> and, I don't know, focus on something else. Or, I don't know how all these other people are able to fulfill their um, commitments for mystery boxes. She can't. If you're friends with her, I apologize. It's just very frustrating to spend money on something you don't get when you're expected to get it. Every single time. Like, I had surgery, and then I got upset that I wasn't able to eat all the delicious foods my family was eating. And then, if I was eating, it was this tiny amount of food. So, like, even wasn't even spending money on food for myself really so I went on a spending spree a transfer addiction and I bought four stitchy boxes and my spring one came in the summer my Halloween one was missing a piece that I've never gotten my Christmas one came on came late like four days late and then this outer space box god knows when the hell I'll get it so it's very frustrating but the money's been spent, so I want my product. Yeah, I'm leaving you on a negative note. I'm sorry, that sucked. <laughs> How about some beagles? Oh, cute. Hey guys, Amber, Daisy. Oh, she's got a sleep smushed face. That's Daisy, the young one. That's Amber, my old lady. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week.